Hello students, in this video we'll prove the Bolzano-Weierstrass theorem. So Bolzano-Weierstrass states the following, that any bounded sequence of real numbers contains a convergent subsequence okay so let's let our sequence a n n goes from 1 to infinity be such a bounded sequence Then the idea of the proof is the following. The idea is that if this is the real line, then there is a value, let's call this point here, over here C0, D0, some closed C0, D0, D0, where all of the sequence resides. So all the sequence resides in this regime over here. Now, of course, it might oscillate, right? It might oscillate between the left and the right, so we don't know, necessarily know it's going to converge, because it might just hop back and forth between C0 and D0, back and forth, back and forth, and that wouldn't violate that condition. But we want to extract a convergent subsequence from this. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a nested collection of closed intervals. So what we can do is the following. We're going to take this interval, so since the sequence is bounded, we have C0 less than or equal to a n less than or equal to d0 for all n. Now what we'll do is we'll cut this interval into two parts, right? So what we'll do is we'll look at the closed interval C0 to C0 plus d0 over 2, and the union C0 plus D0 over 2 to D0. So in other words, we split this interval into two parts. That's the midpoint, C0 plus D0 over 2. And now we claim, if I call this interval over here, we'll call this interval, let's call this point over here, C0 to the point, um, we can call this point, We'll call this the average. We'll call it maybe like a C1, union C1 to D0. Okay? And so we'll call this over here, interval over here, I, let's call the interval over there, I11, one, one, union I12. Good. And so now what we can do is this. Now we've cut into two parts. One of these two intervals, so one of these intervals contains infinitely many a n terms. Because if they both contain a finite number of a n terms, I have a finite number in my sequence, which we don't have. We have an infinite number. So one of them has, a, has an infinite number of these terms. Call this i1 tilde. So i1 tilde is either i11 one one or i12. So i1 tilde contains infinitely many. Now we can assume, so there's at least one step in the induction, so now assume that we have constructed this next this nested collection i1 tilde contained i2 tilde contained i3 tilde contained in i k tilde and each of these intervals is the measure of them and the length of i k tilde for any of these k's, for any l, is equal to half the length of the overall thing. So this is going to be d0 minus c0 over 2 to the power k. And with infinitely many
with infinitely many of our sequence of the a n in i tilde k for any of these things. Good. Now we'll construct the next one. So we split i tilde k in half such that infinitely many a n are in i k plus 1 tilde. It's split in half so that infinitely many of them are in the i k plus 1 tilde. And the measure uh, result is exactly the same, too. And so now what we have is we have a nested, so that shows we can do this inductively. And so what we have now is we have this nested sequence of closed intervals. So by the, in, by the nested interval property, there is a point. A, which is in the intersection, n goes from 1 to infinity of i n tilde. And so now if we look at this subsequence, so pick a n k, an element of i k tilde. So we can select a point a and k in each of these i and tildes. And now what can we say? We can say that a and k minus a in absolute value is no more than the length of i k. And so this is going to be less than or equal to d0 minus c0 over 2 to the power k. And now as n goes to infinity, this tends to 0. So by comparison, This A and K sequence converges to A, and we've constructed a convergent subsequence from our original sequence. And that's the proof of Bolzano-Weierstrauss. Thank you very much.